Sometimes you need to access your devices directly with a serial cable. For example, if you can't connect across your network. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to be prepared for that eventuality. So as an example, I've got a Cisco switch here. I've also got a Cisco serial cable for attaching to this switch, which has got a nine pin serial connector at this end and an RJ45 connector at the other. And I've got a USB nine pin serial converter to USB adapter. Now on the switch, on the back of the switch, we have the console port just there. So I'll plug in the serial cable into there. Then I will plug the serial cable into the USB serial adapter. And then I will plug the USB connector into my laptop. And let's plug in as so. Now that the USB to serial cable is connected, I can start Device Manager. And take a look at the ports and I see that we've got COM port 3. So now I'll start PuTTY. And instead of doing a secure shell connection, I'm going to click for a serial connection and it's come up with COM3. And it just so happens that the speed to connect at 9600 is the speed that I need for that particular Cisco switch. So now if I click open and press return, I can now log in. Issue the enable command. and start to work on the switch. So here's a checklist to go through. Make sure you've got the correct serial cable and that you've got a compatible USB to serial converter. Not all converters work on Windows, so make sure you've got one that does work. Know the location of the serial port on the device. It could be at the front or the back, um, or there might be more than one port. So know which port it is that you need to use. Make sure you've got serial terminal software loaded on your laptop. I use PuTTY in this example, but there are other pieces of software which will do the same thing. Know which speed that you need to connect at. The Cisco switch in this example used 9600, but other devices might need other speeds. Have the correct username and password to hand so you can log in. Now practice, so when time is critical and you're working in a live situation where time is of the essence, you'll be prepared. And finally, keep cables and converters handy. There'll be nothing worse than if you can't find the cable and converter that you need. Thank you for watching.